Welcome to my YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about activation food. Many of you guys might think activation are crazy. Why do I have to pay for activation? And why do I have to pay someone to just put in information to activate my phone? In my opinion, it is crazy that I have to pay for activation. To start account or to port a number or whatever but do keep in mind that active that activation technically does not consider activation it's more like a, they call it a system fee they for t-mobile specifically it's a system fee so they help you activate the device they help you give the give give you the phone to set up properly or not depend how you want it everybody had their own matter of own choice opinion and whatever so now you can leave it down in the comment and let me know yeah what you think of it but to me i think it is crazy but uh so also they increased it from 30 to 35 dollars and those are the fee non non-negotiable so yeah, for that you kind of had to pay back. So anyway, um, in many ways, I think if you wanted to do the hard work yourself, um, put in the information yourself, and have all the information ready and know what you're doing, yeah, you can go for it. You know, it's just a matter of taking a chance or opportunity. Did you want to learn it yourself, or did you want someone else to do it for you? Did you value your time or did you value, you know, whatever, you know, also that's another way to, to do, to think about is you're helping other people making money. I know that activation does not go directly to the person that helped you activate the line, but still, you know, that's the service fee that you pay or charge whenever they helping you. Now, once you activate the device, there's really not much of activation fee or other fees associated anymore. So you kind of had you had the opportunity to to say, oh, you know, sure I can call customer service to add a line or to do whatever. So to me, I think, you know, if you have, let's say, if you not bring in your own, like bring your own device to T-Mobile. I think it's better to pay the activation because they had the device already there and they have everything they need to set up your account properly. Now, if you don't, you want to play the um, cheap game like I do, um, you kind of have to pay what you, you get what you pay for, which is for me, it's like I wanted to do the learning I wanted to teach myself how to do those kind of things and so for that I don't really feel you know bad for not paying that $35 activation fee every time I add, I add a lot so now um, do keep in mind whenever you um, I got sidetracked because the thing because do um, Ow, my brain. Anyway, do keep in mind whenever you add in a line, you think as it might time worth to sit on the computer or on the phone to call customer care to activate the line or do it let somebody else to be the headache of that. So think smarter, work harder, or think smarter, work smarter, don't work very hard, and that's the life to live. So anyway. Thanks for watching. If you have any opinion on how you think, why should we not pay for the activation, do leave it down in the comment below. And I will more than happy to hear uh, what's your opinion. So for that, thanks for watching. And I uh, will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.